guys, uh, my name is Gaurav. Uh, I'm recording this video in order to better understand uh, how will we use uh, React uh, hooks. Uh, there are certain hooks that React uh, is providing and how we can efficiently use these React hooks. Uh, in order to better understand the situation, I, would, I have created a small example. Uh, basically, I have two pickers. One is the color picker and another one is the letter picker. So I try to I'll try to show you console so basically what I'm doing is whenever I'm trying to change the letter I see my color component is getting re-rendered I have added a console for you in order to show you what exactly is the problem so in uh, how will we avoid this and first of all let's understand why basically that is happening the reason why that is happening is we have an app component it, which is a function component and it has two sibling components inside it so basically color and the letter component are child of the app component uh, the, the the reason of concern over here is this inline function so what happens is whenever i try to change the letter which exactly which is actually setting a uh, letter state app component re-renders and try to set the handle change with these functions even though the functions are remaining same but the color component and letter component assume there is a change in a prop and they try to re-render each other. So in order to avoid that, we even if you try to do this, handle change, if, even if you try to do this, it's not gonna help us because it will still do the same thing. Let's refresh the page and we try to change the letter and see the color component is getting green enter. So how we can efficiently use hooks basically to avoid this these kind of situations. So basically React says you can use something like use callback and we can provide a second parameter to callback as an empty array for now and we'll see if it's gonna help us uh, there's some so we are all set okay sorry for that so we'll try to see now if use callback is helping us here no it is not the reason is we have not informed color component to check for a prop change so that we can you know actually use the memoization so what basically memoization is it will, pro it will return you the cache version of the function when it is called so say if you're, if you're trying to call a function with some parameters, uh, memoization will store those parameters and the end result of that function. And it will not call that function again. It will just simply return us the result that was saved earlier if we are if you're calling that function with the same parameter. So in order to better understand this, uh, what we'll do is we'll use react.memo and we'll grab our component in react.memo and we'll try to save it. We rerun our application and try to change the letter and we see the color component is not getting re-rendered. I've added some comments over here to better understand uh, this uh, code sandbox. I'll be sharing the link and the video as well. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching.